in this video i will talk about different voltage and current parameters associated with our digital logic families when we use binary logic that means logic 0 or logic 1 we specify those logic levels by applying different voltages to specify logic 0 or logic 1 we don't apply a fixed voltage rather we use a range of voltages which is shown here see input logic levels and output logic levels when we talk about input logic levels that means i am talking about this picture the voltage range used to indicate the logic one that is denoted as vih and the vih it is the voltage when input is high that means our input is at logic one this vih has the upper value vih max and the minimum value of this vih is denoted as vih min now if i want to find the range of voltage for which our input will treat that voltage as logic one i will subtract this vih from this vih max vih max minus vih min this will indicate the range of voltage that will be treated as logic one or vih in case of the input side which i have shown here say vih high level input voltage it is the range of the voltages in a gate for the input to be treated as logic one any value of applied voltage within this range our input will treat that as logical one and that voltage will have maximum value or at level vih max and that voltage will have minimum value vih minimum and i can find out the range of this vih by subtracting this vih minimum from vih maximum therefore i can write it like this vih max minus vih min and i can show that by using this example following figure shows the input and output voltage level for logic 0 and logic 1 for ttl logic circuit here we will see input logic levels for a ttl logic circuit will use a voltage from 2 volt to 5 volt that means any voltage within this range any voltage from 2 to 5 volt will treat it as logic 1 at the input side of the ttl logic circuit that means if i apply let's say 3 volt at the ttl input uh, that means i will apply logic 1 at the input and this 2 volt will indicate vih minimum and this 5 volt will indicate vih maximum now let me talk about when the input voltage is at low state or at logic 0 the voltage ranges used to specify logic 0 at the input side of a logic circuit we denote that with VIL voltage when input is low and this VIL will not indicate a fixed value rather it will indicate a range of voltage in which any voltage within that range will be treated as logic 0 at the input side and that VIL will have minimum value VIL mean and maximum value VIL max ok see I can show it here VIL low level input voltage it is the range of the voltages in a gate for the input to be treated as logic 0 that means within this range any value of voltage will be treated as logic 0 and this VIL will have maximum value VIL max and minimum value VIL min and I can find out the range of this VIL by subtracting this VIL minimum from this VIL maximum which I can write like this VIL max minus VIL minimum I can show it here see for TTL logic circuit any voltage within 0 to 0 0.8 volt will be treated as logic 0 I will denote that voltage with VIL this VIL will have a maximum value of 0 0.8 volt which will be VIL max and this VIL will have a minimum value 
V I L mean. Let's say if I apply 0.5 volt, what 0.5 volt at the input terminal. As it falls within this 0 to 0 0.8 range, our input will treat this voltage as logic 0. Now let me talk about output logic levels. When we talk about output logic levels, the voltage ranges used to indicate the logic 1 is denoted as VOH to specify logic 1 at the output. We don't apply any fixed voltage. Rather, we use a range of voltages and that range of voltage is denoted as VOH when output is high. Any value of voltage within this range will be treated as logic 1 and this VOH will have maximum value VOH maximum and it will have minimum value VOH minimum and I can calculate the range of this VOH by subtracting this VOH minimum from this VOH max. Now let me show here VOH high level output voltage it is the range of the voltages in a gate for the output to be treated as logic 1 if we obtain the output voltage within this range we will treat that as logic 1 for the output and we take and it has ma minimum value VOH minimum and maximum value of VOH maximum and we can calculate this range by subtracting VOH minimum from VOH maximum VOH max minus VOH minimum if I show it in case of our TTL logic circuit you will see any voltage from 2.4 to 5 volt will be treated as logic 1 and that voltage I will denote with VOH high level output voltage and this 5 volt will indicate VOH max and this 2.4 volt will indicate VOH minimum ok and this is the range of our VOH max 5 minus 2.4 if I obtain a voltage let's say 4 volt at the output to ground terminal and as this 4 volt falls into this range I will call that our output is at logic 1 in case of logic 0 the voltage ranges used to specify the logic 0 I will denote that as VOL and this VOL is the voltage when output is low and uh, the maximum value of this logic 0 will be denoted as VOL max and the minimum value of this logic 0 at the output will be denoted as VOL min and any value in the output terminal to ground terminal within this range will be treated as logic 0 in case of a TTL logic circuit you will see between 0 to 0 0.4 volt any voltage within this range at the output terminal will fall into logic 0 if I let's say get 0 0.2 volt between the output to ground terminal I will treat that as logic 0 and this range is indicated by VOL VOL max will be equal to 0 0.4 volt and VOL min is equal to 0 volt now if you look at the input and output logic level you will see between the logic 1 and logic 0 we have an intermediate voltage level here from 0 0.8 to 2 volt we, this is the intermediate range and here between 0 0.4 to 2.4 this is our intermediate level if we apply any voltage between 0 0.8 to 2 volt at the input side or if we get any voltage at the output terminal between 0 0.4 to 2.4 volt that voltages will be treated as intermediate voltages and our logic circuit will not treat any voltage within this range or this range either as logic 0 or logic 1 
and this ambiguous logic in the intermediate range will give uncertainty to the logical operation of the logic circuit there are some current parameters associated to our logic circuit first one is iih high level input current it is a current that flows in the input when voltage of vih range that means any voltage within logic one is applied if i apply any voltage within this range vih at the input terminal of the logic circuit the current that will be flowing to the input terminal of the logic circuit will will be denoted as iih iil low level input current it is a current that flows in the input when voltage of vil range when if i apply a voltage within the logic zero range the current that will be flowing to the input terminal of the logic circuit i will call that as low level input current iil for that i have to apply a voltage within in vil range ioh high level output current if i obtain any voltage between the output at the output terminal in this range voh range the current that will be flowing at the output terminal will be our ioh high level output current it is a current that flows in the output when the voltage of voh that means logic 1 is obtained under given load low level output current if we obtain any voltage within vol range at the output terminal the current that will be flowing at the output terminal will be our low level output current it is a current that flows in the output when voltage of vol range if we obtain logic zero at the output under given load okay that's it thank you